much. Okay. By the way, um, you know, again, I said that we're fans, and I, I'm not going to attempt to reiterate what the mayor said, but just recently, Raleigh was named America's best city, the most educated city in America. But that's one thing that got us excited about being here and keeps us excited is that this is a very sophisticated audience. And sophistication is it's sometimes a difficult thing to describe, but you know it when you see it. And uh, I know it when we see it, and we see it here. It's a very sophisticated environment here, and we love that. And a lot of people recognize that. Uh, the number one best place for business uh, and for careers. So that's a big deal, and that's Raleigh right now. Raleigh's on fire. Uh, and again, my mom and my dad are here, so I'm, again, literally, uh, you know, I'm using neighborhood talk some. They'll say, oh, yeah, that's the Todd we know right there, saying on fire and cool and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, but Raleigh's a fantastic place, so thank you. With all that being said, let me give you a real quick overview of ITology. If you noticed, ITology presents the conference. Uh, we are a, 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 a nonprofit. Uh, this is a little different, a little different approach to conferences in that ITology is really focused on filling the IT pipeline. We're very, very focused on making sure that there are enough people to fill these technology positions here in America. So we focus on K through 12, higher education, and the professional level to make sure that people are getting into the industry, they understand the industry, and then are going to work to support the businesses that enable the overall economy. That's the connection. This is a professional event that ITology presents, and we've been in the open source space now for a good long while. The reason that open technology and open source is so important to us is that it lowers the barriers to entry to the technology field. It is often much less expensive. Uh, there is a very strong community around it. People feel comfortable getting engaged, joining uh, projects, etc. So we love the fact that open technology lowers those barriers and enables more people to get into the field, which is ultimately what ITology is all about. So that's the connection. That's why ITology presents this event. And uh, so I wanted you guys to know that. All Things Open itself, again, this is the second year. We started it last year. 700 or so people. This year, we're well over 1,000 at about 1,100. So uh, you'll see a good number of people here today. And we're very, very thankful for the growth, for the uh, uh, growth, not gross, growth. Um, we uh, focus on world-class content and affordability. If you notice, the uh, registration costs here are not what you might find at other conferences. Nothing wrong with that. People are free to do what they want to do, and Lord knows there's nothing wrong with making money. But we have chosen to take a little different approach in that we want to combine and make available to you flat-out world-class speakers, the best in the world, at a very affordable price so that many people that may not otherwise be able to afford it or can afford it and actually get in and gain access because we want those people to be the speakers next year. We want those people to become the leaders of technology communities and projects in the years that follow. And how are they ever expected to do that if they never get access to events like this or they never have a chance to hear people speak? We're adamant. We are true believers. And uh, that's, again, why we've structured this event the way that we have. An overview of the day, very, very quickly. Um, you, when you came in, you were given a schedule. Our schedule is on large paper. We were kind of laughing because we did expand it to 10 tracks. It required the paper to be a little bigger. So if you're walking around, it's funny to watch everybody walking around with her paper because even though the, 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 the schedule is online, it's funny, even at a technology event, people still gravitate to the written word. They still gravitate to the piece of paper. I do. I'm absolutely guilty of that. I do it all the time. But you do have a schedule. It will be your guide throughout the day. Um, so please uh, ref refer to that often. You actually have one uh, other piece of paper that you got when you came in, if you chose to get it, which is a floor layout, F front and back. One uh, page is a, is a floor layout. It'll give you a great uh, idea as to where the rooms are located. We've got four rooms upstairs, four breakout rooms, including the main stage upstairs, and then six breakout rooms across the hall. You're going to have to do a little walking to, uh, down on the second floor. So you'll have to walk across the lobby, go down the stairs, and right there, you'll come out right in front of the six additional breakout session rooms or track rooms. Does that make sense? One thing, too, uh, that we wanted to do this year was hold meet the speaker sessions. So, so many times we've been to so many events in which great speakers uh, featured, and that was great. I got jazzed about it. I was very, very excited. However, there was no chance to meet them. And I left sort of frustrated because they either ducked out a side door quickly and made themselves uh, disappear, uh, or uh, they were just inundated with 10,000 people. And of course, I'm not going to elbow my way to the front, so I was never one of those that actually got to meet. So we wanted to try to remedy that and make these fantastic speakers as available to you as possible. And we're extremely excited about it. The meet the speaker area, the actual schedule is on the back side of the floor layout. 
So I would encourage you to go to the front desk and get one of these documents to, 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 to be your guide. Uh, the meet the speaker uh, area is actually, as you go out these doors, it's to the right. There's a full schedule on a pop-up banner right there. And Mr. Dwight Merriman is our first speaker that will be available to you to meet as soon as he finishes his keynote uh, at 10.05. So I do want to draw your attention to that. Uh, lunch will be served last year. For those of you that were here, you remember the long line during lunch? Unfortunately, I see some heads bobbing. I was hoping you'd forget about that, but <laughs> no such luck. People don't forget those things. It's amazing. Content was great, but lunch, not so good, and that's what people have a tendency to remember. Anyway, hum human nature, um, but lunch this year, we're going to serve it earlier, beginning at 11 o'clock. It'll be available to you, so from 11 to 1, you've got any time between 11 to 1 to get lunch. We're going to serve box lunches. It does include a drink, et cetera. So that'll be available at two different locations out in the hall here up on the third floor. So please be on the lookout for that. Uh, and again, we've tried to make that as easy as possible for you. Uh, during lunch also, we have got fantastic sessions. Uh, we've got Angel Diaz from IBM speaking on this stage. We've got Allied uh, doing a talk. And then we've got a demo. We, we're offering three, OK? So three sessions during lunch. You feel free, feel free to attend those. Um, again, Angel is super. He's the guy, one of the guys behind a lot of the World Wide Web that you use today. He's a big, big dang deal. So uh, by all means, try to catch those sessions. Allied has got great stuff, and then the, the uh, technical demo is off the charts good. So uh, keynotes uh, will again, after lunch, we'll come back in here, and we'll do keynotes uh, for about 45 minutes. Uh, Gail Roper and Jason Hibbets will talk about the city of Raleigh becoming an open source city and an open city. That's a big deal, and I think it really makes for a fascinating story. And then we'll go back to track sessions, and then Doug Cutting. Anybody ever here ever heard of Hadoop? Very good. Okay, I say that. That's a rhetorical question with this group. Uh, everybody's heard of Doug Cutting. He'll be here, and he'll do a closing keynote today from 5 to 5.30. He's also doing a Meet the Speaker beginning at 3 o'clock along with Bob Young, who co-founded Red Hat just, out, just outside. Couple, a, a couple of last points. Um, uh, again, the breakout sessions are on two separate parts of the build, or sides of the building. Please be aware of that. Meet the speaker is at the just outside these doors to the right, and volunteers are wearing all things open T-shirts. If you have a question today, find one of our volunteers. We'll ask them. By all means, find me. I'll be the one running around like my hair's on fire. Find me, stop me, and say, "Hey, Todd, I really need some help. We will help you. We want your experience to be absolutely fantastic." Okay, um, tonight. GitHub is sponsoring the GitHub Drink Up. So as soon as content ends today, we're going to go to Jimmy V's. We're going to have a social, get to know each other a little better. And then we actually have a speaker-sponsored dinner that will immediately follow that. Uh, I also want to thank Mandrill for sponsoring our uh, welcome social last night. MailChimp, Mandrill, they're a big sponsor here, and they enable what we do. I do want to segue into sponsors quickly. It's too many conferences, they don't recognize their sponsors enough. Again, not throwing off on them. Everybody does a great job. But we, without sponsors, would not be possible. I often joke with people, until you can find me someone to give me free space, free food, uh, we very desperately need dollars, and we need our sponsors, so we want to thank them. Uh, our Diamond Level sponsors, you can see their logos uh, uh, rotating behind me. But Adobe and Red Hat, huge players, and they really uh, have done a lot to make it possible, so I want to thank them. Cisco at the Platinum Level, huge, huge. Mark Volker is going to talk. He's actually doing two talks, a workshop for us tomorrow, and they have been huge supporters, and we really appreciate it. GitHub, Acquia, HP. PayPal Developer, and Palomita, Gold Level Sponsors. We really do appreciate that. If you would, please go by their booths, their tables, check out, see what they do. People are here for a reason. They very much want to talk to you. I'm not going to solicit on their behalf, but I will tell you that without them, this would not be possible. The Bronze Level, a longer list, and we're very thankful, but I do want to recognize them. The Cactus Group, fantastic. Black Mesh, Bandwidth, IRODs, they're just outside these doors. Oracle, Dave is fantastic. Dave Stokes, he's been so nice to us. Bronto, fantastic people. Orange FS, Amy, Qualcomm, uh, Higher Networks, Craig Stone, they're huge. IBM, uh, Pat, Pat Huff has been a huge friend to us and we really appreciate it. Percona, Allied, o uh, Open Software Integrators, those of you from Durham know OSI quite well. Interactive Intelligence, your bags. When you came in, you got a bag? Their logo is on the bag, so I very much want to thank them. Open NMS, Vivid Cortex, Cyos, Nastal, uh, Phase 2, Zimbra, Ingram, and the jQuery Foundation, they're here as well, so I very much want to thank them. Our business track today, for those of you on the business track, Palomita is making that possible. They'll host it, they'll moderate it, they'll be there. The back dev track is Allied, it's David Hurley. I want to thank David for making the back dev track. If you attend that track, you'll hear from David a little bit. And then the OpenGov, OpenData is of course opensource.com. 
which leads me to a very important point. This is in association with opensource.com. So again, that's Jason Hibbets. Jason's going to be keynoting here this afternoon. And again, uh, we work with them in partnership on this conference. And they are huge partners, and they are absolutely splendid and fantastic. They really do a great job. The design track, we are thrilled to have Adobe. You know, we, I've often heard from people, design has always sort of been the missing aspect of open source. Not so much emphasis historically placed on design. So we really made great efforts to get um, Adobe involved and to do a design track today. Um, Garth is actually going to um, head that up for Adobe. He's going to be in that session, and they're here today. Obviously, they're huge in the design space, and we very much appreciate them as well. Uh, Mayor McFarland mentioned the Women in Open Technology panel tomorrow during lunch. That is a very important panel. Uh, we've got five, six of the most influential women in technology that are going to participate. It's going to be right here on this stage. Women in uh, technology, minorities in technology, er getting more people involved. That is of huge interest to us. That is a big deal, and we are absolute true believers. So we want to encourage that as much as possible and help that along because that's a big deal to us. I also want to recognize O'Reilly. They donated a lot of books. As you go through the Meet the Speaker line, and, and th by the way, it's Meet the Speaker slash book signing. So be aware of that. They'll be signing books as well. O'Reilly made them available. Prague, Prague, and Manning, they all donated books. And they're all publishers, and we really, truly appreciate that. Good? Last thing before I introduce Jeffrey Hammond. And Jeffrey's, where is Jeffrey? Jeffrey's on the front row. Jeffrey's right where he needs to be, patiently waiting on me to shut up. Um, I do want to talk about our, um, our code of conduct. Extremely important to us. Uh, everybody that read my email from yesterday, if you don't agree with us, you can pretty much find your way to the door right now, OK? Do us a favor. Save me some time and effort escorting you out. Uh, we're very serious. We're true believers. Uh, growing up, I was taught, my mom taught me well. I respect others, and I don't say things that in, might in any way be construed as disrespectful to another human being. Life is way too short to disrespect anybody in any way, and we just won't tolerate it here. I know I don't need to say that, but I at least want to say that at the very beginning. So at some point down the road, no one can ever say, eh, I didn't know. Hey, I had no idea. It's very important to us, and if you want uh, more information, you can find me personally. Okay. Um, our first speaker, Jeffrey Hammond. We wanted to bring Jeffrey up. Jeffrey is a VP and principal analyst with Forrester Research. I wanted us today to hear a little bit about open source by the numbers. I wanted us to start from a common point. Where are we today in the industry? There's no better person on earth to do that than Jeffrey Hammond. He's been a speaker with us many times before, and he really does a great job. So Jeffrey, I'm going to yield to you for 15. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. 